गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट on the behalf of KTM College Nasik and Department of Chemistry of this college i am dr s r lapre welcomes you to the lecture on polarographic analysis student in previous lecture we discussed the factors affecting the nature of polarographic wave in today's lecture we solve some problem based on polarographic analysis and therefore problem number 1 the diffusion current sorry diffusion coefficient of 0.8 millimole of cadmium 2 plus iron is 0.7 into 10 to the minus 5 square centimeter per second calculate The diffusion current, diffusion current, current when mercury flow rate, mercury flow rate is three milligram per second and drop time, and drop time is. Five second. In this problem, we have to find out the diffusion current, which is shown by 0.8 millivolt of cadmium two plus iron, and that is determined by using Elko equation. That is, I is equal to 607 into n into d raised to half into m raised to 2 by 3. Into T raised to one by six into C, where this n is number of electron, number of electrons involved in redox reaction. That is, cadmium plus two means n is equal to two. For cadmium, it is equal to two. Here D is diffusion coefficient. And its value is given coefficient that is 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 square centimeter per second. We convert this value into this 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 square centimeter. Y is mercury flow rate, and that is. Equal to three milligram per second. T is drop time and is equal to five second for a single drop. C is concentration in millimole, that is 0.8 millimole. Therefore, by putting all these values into this equation, I D is equal to 607 into two. Into D, that is 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 raised to half into 3 raised to 2 by 3 into T raised to that is 5 raised to 1 by 6 into 0.8. When we put all these values into this equation, we have to solve each term. I D is equal to 1 to 1/4, that is product of these two. Into square root of this 2.65 into 10 raised to minus 3. Now 3 raised to 2 by 3. How to find out the value of this on a scientific calculator? You can use the function raised to. That is 3 raised to in bracket 2 divided by 3 equal to. And this value is equal to. 2.08. Similarly, here 5 raised to 1 by 6 means 5 raised to 1 divided by 5, and this value is 1.308. Therefore, by using scientific calculator, you directly find out the value of 3 raised to 2 by 3 and 5 raised to 1 by 6. 
Therefore, putting this value into this equation 2.08 into 1.308 into 18. When we solve all these, we have answer that is equal to 7.002 micro ampere. Therefore, diffusion current in the reduction of 0.8 millimole of cadmium is equal to 7 micro ampere. Here, diffusion coefficient and mercury flow rate that also affect the diffusion current by equation. Therefore, we, we can use equation for calculation of concentration of electroactive species also as well as for determination of the diffusion current of the analyte. We solve second problem based on this polarographic analysis. The polarographic polarographic analysis of analysis of 1.25 millimole of zinc 2 plus iron shows diffusion current current of 7.12 micro ampere determine determine the diffusion coefficient diffusion coefficient of zinc 2 plus i 2 plus if mercury flow rate is equal to 1.42 milligram per second and drop time drop time 3.47 seconds. Here again we have to use a micro equation for determination of this diffusion coefficient of this Z2 plus ion. Therefore, I is equal to 607 into N into M raised to 2 by sorry into D raised to half into M raised to 2 by 3 into T raised to 1 by 6 into C. Therefore, ID is equal to C07 for zinc. It is again a Z2 plus plus 2 electron. If you zinc metal, again N is equal to 2 for zinc, that is number of electron involved in redox reaction. 2. We have to find out diffusion coefficient, therefore, it remains as it is. Therefore, M is mercury flow rate. And that is here 1.42, 1.42 raised to 2 by 3 into T that is 1, 3.47 raised to 1 by 6 into concentration is 1.25 millimole. Therefore, here ID is equal to 607 means total this becomes. 1214 into d raised to half into this value becomes 1.4 1.42 raised to 2 by 3 it becomes 1.264 into 3.47 raised to 1 by 3 is 1.23 into concentration is 1.25 millimole therefore id is equal to sorry now d is equal to D raised to half is equal to ID is given, ID is 7.12. Therefore, 7.12 divided by all these 1214 into 1.264 into 1.23 into 1.25. When we solve all this, we have D raised to half is equal to 3.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 and t is equal to 3.02 into 10 raised to minus 3 raised to 2 and t is equal to 9.12 into 10 raised to minus 6 now it is square centimeter per second.
Now difficult coefficient is in the order of 10 raised to minus 6 and it is measured in square centimeter per second. Therefore, by this formula, we find here difficult coefficient of this zinc and it is 9.12 into 10 raised to minus 6 square centimeter per second. Student now solve next problem based on this polar graph analysis. Problem number 3 A new organic compound New organic compound of having concentration having concentration A.0 millimole was analyzed by polarography shows diffusion current diffusion current current 70 micro ampere 70 micro ampere calculate calculate number of electron number of electrons involved in a redox reaction redox reaction if d for the organic compound that is diffusion coefficient for organic compound is 7.0 into 10 to minus 6 square centimeter per second drop time that is t is equal to 5 second and mercury flow rate m is equal to 3.0 milligram per second with this data we have to find out the number of electron involved in redox reaction or reduction of that organic compound and that we have to again find out by using a equation now in this case we have this equation that is 607 into n into d raised to half into m raised to 2 by 3 into t raised to 1 by 6 into c by putting value we have here 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 raised to half here mercury flow rate 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 raised to half into mercury flow rate that is 3.0 raised to half sorry 2 by 3 3 raised to 2 by 3 into here 5 raised to 1 by 6 into concentration is 8 millimole therefore for this problem here n is equal to what that we have to find out and therefore here value of n is not given 607 into n into d into m raised to 2 by 3 into t raised to 1 by 6 into concentration of that particular analyte therefore id is equal to 607 into n into 2.65 into n raised to minus 3 3 raised to 2 by 3 is again this becomes equal to 2.08 into 1.308 into 8 therefore here n is equal to number of electron involved here diffusion current is given that is 70 micro ampere therefore n is equal to 70.0 divided by all these that means 607 into 2.65 into 10 raise to minus 3 into 2.08 into 10 raise sorry into 1.308 into 8 when we simplify this we have n is equal to 70 upon 70 upon 35.01 is equal to 2.999 sorry 1.999 and that is approximately equal to 2 or equal to 2 electrons. Therefore, 
that organic compound is reduced by means of two electron. Therefore, it is a reduction with two electron. In this way, we can find out the number of electron involved in reduction reaction of particular analyte. If we know diffusion current and concentration and all other factors related with related in the equation. Student, now we solve next problem that is based on calculation of concentration of the analyte in a polyarthrographic analysis. The diffusion current, the diffusion current in the reduction of a reduction of 2.0 into 10 raised to minus 3 mole Pb2 plus iron was 16.98 microampere and unknown Pb2 plus solution gives diffusion current diffusion current of 11.7 microampere with DME having any same capillary characteristic capillary characteristic Now this is a problem based on calculation of concentration of analyte. In this case, the standard gives this much diffusion current, sample gives this diffusion current and we have to find out the concentration of lead in the sample. Student, polarographic analysis is a comparative method. That means in this case we can standardize first that instrument by using a standard solution and then we can analyze a sample solution on that same instrument or we can determine diffusion current for standard and diffusion current for sample under same experimental condition and we can match those diffusion current and concentration for determination of concentration of analyte. Now here in this case as sample species is same, sample species is Pb2 plus means means for both case both cases here n is equal to n and n and d value are identical for sample are same for sample and standard because here Sample species is identical, therefore number of electron and diffusion coefficient of that sample as standard is identical. Similarly, the capillary characteristic is same. In polyarography, the product of the product of m raised to 2 by 3 into t raised to 1 by 6 is called as capillary characteristic. And capillary characteristic is constant means drop rate drop rate and T and M is constant for both measurement and therefore by using equation we can find out the concentration of sample in the concentration of lead in the sample solution. Therefore here by comparative method we can write here IDX for sample that is IDX is equal to 607 into N into D raised to half into M raised to 2 by 3 into T raised to 1 by 6 into CX. Similarly, IDX for standard is equal to 607, 607 into N into T raised to half into M raised to 2 by 3 into T raised to 1 by 6 into CS. In this case, all these factors are constant for sample and standard and therefore we can write IDX upon IDX is equal to 
cx upon cs and therefore we can write here cx is equal to idx upon ids into concentration of sand and cx is equal to once a sample gives diffusion current 11.7 microampere and standard gives diffusion current that is 16.98 microampere and into concentration of standard is 2.0 into 10 raised to minus 3 mole and when we solve this we have cx is equal to here this ratio into this ratio cx is equal to 1.375 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles or which is equal to in millimoles that is 1.373 not 5 373 millimoles. Therefore, by comparative method, we can also find out the concentration of sample. Actually, this is a method that is useful for determination of concentration in polar graphic analysis. All the instrumental techniques are comparative method. We does not determine directly the concentration of sample. We depends upon the analysis of standard first and then sample for determination of concentration of sample. Student, now we solve next problem based on standard addition method and that is useful in polarographic analysis. The problem is like this. A 10 ml, 10 ml, unknown amount of, unknown amount of copper 2 plus or copper second solution produces produces for 24.6 micro ampere diffusion current diffusion current on current on dc means direct current polarogram dc polarogram or cathodic produces this much diffusion current on cathode uh, on DC polarogram where 0.2 ml of 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles of copper second ion solution is added is added to ABO solution ABO solution the new the new diffusion current diffusion current was was 56.4 micro ampere 56.4 micro ampere and for sample it is 24.6 micro ampere Determine, determine the concentration of copper second in sample, in sample. This problem is based on standard addition method. In this case, first of all, the analysis of fixed volume of standard is carried, is fixed volume of sample is carried out. The same amount of sample known amount of standard is added and again measurement is carried out. Therefore, in standard addition method, two measurements are carried out. One for sample, second for sample containing standard. And for calculation of concentration in a sample, we have this formula. You can directly uh, write down this formula. We can discuss it afterward how this formula is generated. That is, Concentration of sample is equal to Cs into Vs upon Vs into Idx upon Idx plus S minus Idx. Where this Idx is a diffusion current for sample, Idx X plus S is diffusion current for sample containing standard. Here concentration of standard Volume of standard 
upon your volume of sample. By using this formula, we can find out here concentration of sample in the concentration of copper in the sample. Cs is concentration of uh, standard is 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 3 mole. Into its volume is 0.2 ml. Divided by volume of sample 10.0 ml. Into IDX 24.6 into IDX plus X is 50 6.4 minus 24.6 and here Cx is equal to 2.0 into 10 raised to minus 4 that is 0.2 into this that is 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 10 means 2.0 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 24.6 divided by subtraction of these two is 31.8 and when we solve this finally we have this concentration 1.547 into 10 raised to minus 5 mole in 10 ml this is volume in 10 ml this is the concentration of copper in 10 ml and for 1000 ml we have to multiply it with the dilution factor therefore Cs is equal to 1.547 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles per liter and this is a concentration of this is a concentration of copper in the sample therefore this is a standard addition method which is useful for determination of concentration of sample in various type of instrumental analysis student all these are about the different types of numericals that may be asked in university exam that is again a problem numerical problem a standard and sample solution of an organic compound organic compound gives diffusion current gives diffusion current current of 60 60 microampere and 35 35 microampere respectively if Concentration of standard organic compound is 6.9 millimole. Calculate, calculate concentration of sample, concentration of organic compound, organic compound in sample and determine determine number of electrons electrons involved in reduction process involved in a reduction process here d is equal to 7.0 into 10 raised to minus 6 square centimeter per second t is equal to 5 second and M is equal to 3 milligram per second. Therefore, you have to find out both. First of all, the concentration of sample, and after that, you have to find out number of in electron involving redox reaction or reduction of that organic compound. Student, with this, I invite you to my next lecture on polar graph analysis. Thanks for joining me. Wish you all the best. Keep learning, happy learning.